I tell you, Kenyans can be quite enterprising and they are found in almost every corner of the world. Amazing. And uh, guess where I am? Yes, I'm in a place known as Lisamit in Missouri State. This is in Central America. And I've met a very enterprising couple. They've begun a nursing recruitment agency. Karibuni. Asante. So, Bill Tanui and uh, Beverly Tanui. Yeah. So Asante Nisana. Begin by telling us about this agency, Elements Staffing. Correct. What do you do exactly? So Elements Staffing Agency is an agency that we... Uh, provide staff, nurses, mm. uh, to hospitals here in the United States. Mm. And based on the, on the shortage that we have in the United States, there's a big shortage of nurses. And we have plenty of nurses outside of the country that need to come here mm. and work. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, we are hoping that we can help those nurses grow and develop their skills. Mm -hmm. Even when they come this way, uh, we know that they will get jobs. And in turn, when they get jobs, they can also assist our mm -hmm. communities back mm. home. Okay, why did you call it Element? He has always thought about um, ele Elements of Hope. Elements of Hope. Uh -huh. Yes, mm. but it's quite a long name. Mm. So we decided to cut it down to just Elements. It's the key of why we survive. Mm. Who are you looking for exactly when you say you are recruiting nurses? Kenyans are watching you and they, they, they really want jobs. Yes. What's the qualification? Qualifications for doing this is eventually they have to pass something called NCLEX, N-C-L-E-X examination. Mm -hmm. Once you pass that exam, then we as a company um, take over basically, but we actually guide you through the steps all mm -hmm. the way to doing your NCLEX. Mm -hmm. We will hold your hand, we'll guide you through the steps, and we'll get down to NCLEX. Once you pass the NCLEX now, mm -hmm. the immigration services take over mm -hmm. and file uh, for your uh, for your transitioning to come this way. Mm -hmm. okay. So basically nurses come here mm -hmm. on a green card basis. Uh -huh, green card. And uh, they come, they can come with their family members. Uh -huh. And that is the best part of, of transitioning this way. Uh -huh. No, there are different levels of uh, training in nurses in Kenya, mm -hmm. diploma, what and so on. Correct. So what level? All the nurses that have done diploma mm. qualify to become nurses uh -huh. in the U.S. And above. Beca and above, uh -huh. because they're very skilled. So we have an office in Kenya, mm -hmm. we have an office in Eldoret. Eldoret. We have an office over by uh, Kisumu Highway. Uh -huh. Yes. yes. And also there are the road that goes to Langas. Langas. Langas so I right there Langas, by Langas, yeah. we yeah. have an office there. What's the name of the building? Or? The name of the building, um, so we have as element staffing. What made you venture into this? This has been a work in progress. Mm. And it started way, way back uh, before we even started, beca I even became uh, what I do right today. Mm. So over the years, we have always tried to improve the healthcare system in at home. Mm -hmm. We have sent medical equipment to Kenya. Mm -hmm. In 2019, we had an opportunity to bring nurses mm -hmm. from Nandi County yes. with the help of the county mm -hmm. uh, executives, mm -hmm. um, Stephen Sang, mm -hmm. and with the help of Ruth Koech, mm -hmm. uh, helping us to bring those nurses here to the U.S. I know getting uh, visas with a green card, uh, uh, it's not easy nowadays. So Correct. there are those who will say, I mean, just how, uh, how will I get that visa? If you have a skill, a skill that is needed, here in the U.S., mm. the high, there's a high chance that you will get a visa. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Many have done it. Mm -hmm. They've gotten visas to come here and work. Wow. And why not you, the mm -hmm. person that is listening to wow. us today, wow. uh, we know that you can also transition and come here and work. Uh, and another example. thing people look for is, are uh, you properly accredited? You know, guys, guys have used agencies, gone abroad, and mm -hmm. they, they, they didn't find what they expected. So uh, assure people, are you accredited? Are you genuine? Yes, so we are, we are we're completely genuine. Yeah. We are actually, uh, our business is registered in the state of Missouri. Uh -huh. And we actually work directly with hospitals. And Bill, there are those who come here to study nursing. And then so after their studies, what happens? That, that's a great question. Yeah. Because once you finish nursing here, uh, whether it's a two-year program or a four-year program, um, your visa mandates you basically to go back home. Mm. But we found a way that uh, those F1 students, those who are under F1 visa, can basically go into the workforce mm -hmm. and work. Mm -hmm. And we do also help uh, with F you know, that kind of work. F1 students that have finished school or they're going to school and they want to stay here and work, there is a pathway for that. Mm -hmm. I know you are eager to know um, Bill and uh, Beverly's backgrounds, but let me begin by saying I've enjoyed a meal uh, with this couple, amazing, yeah, and uh, put together with my team from yeah. Chams Media, uh, plantains, apple, nimekula. Yeah, 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 that, that is, was that a good mix. Asante sana. So finally, then, what have you done, or what do you do here in the U.S.? So what I do, um, I came to the U.S. in 2015. 
five to go to school. Um, and since then, I have always been in school. Mm. And currently, I work as a nurse anesthetist. So I do mm. anesthesia uh, for people that need surgeries. Mm -hmm. uh, that is my profession, uh, and I love it. And it's a good profession. And mm -hmm. we hope that other Kenyans that come here too can transition to become anesthetists. Wow. Um, so yeah, that is what I do. Mm. So I came to the United States in 2014. 2014. I came to do my master's in mm. microbiology. Mm -hmm. I was in East Tennessee State University. Mm -hmm. I graduated in 2016 and then got married. Wow. <laughs> That's how I ended up in Kansas City. So, guys, you've heard it. You are a nurse. You want to work in the U.S. You, you've just been wondering, how do I do it? Where do I, do I begin? You have it. Get in touch with the elements, staffing. Those nurses that want to come this way, waje to find a kazi na wapa. The vision is to go global, mm -hmm. to make sure that we can get nurses from all across Africa and also even internationally, other, other countries as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. And that's daring abroad.